Over the years, Steve's made hundreds of sea rescues. To do it, he has to maintain peak fitness. And whenever Steve goes training, Bilbo goes too. To battle against the undercurrents in these waters, lifeguards must be able to swim 400 metres in under seven and a half minutes, something Bilbo has no trouble with either. Come on, Bilbo! Bilbo Come on. thinks he's a lifeguard too. Good boy. Come on. But it's no accident that Bilbo's such a capable swimmer. Newfoundlands have always been salty old sea dogs. Their original job was to effectively be best mate to a fisherman. He's a utility working dog in that he has many different skills. He's got an innate desire, for some reason, to save people. His obsession is swimming, saving people, and doing what uh, his master wants of him, which is pretty much a perfect dog. He used to use them in the Moby Dick days on whaling ships, when the men used to row out and try and harpoon the whale by hand. Quite often those boats would get capsized and the men thrown up into the sea. They would have then two or three of these dogs on the mothership that they'd let go and they'd dive into the sea, swim over to where the men were, and they would drag them back to the mothership. So it's a natural thing within these dogs. And when Steve gets tired, Bilbo comes into his own and pulls him around for a couple more laps. Good boy. Good boy. Unlike other dogs, when they swim, Bilbo doesn't so much do a doggy paddle. He does more of a breaststroke where his feet are going slightly to the side. He'll pull me around for hours on end in the water, just swimming up and down with me hanging onto his haunches. Fantastic, really. Good boy. Oh, he's such a good fella. Good boy, Bill. Good boy. Good boy. Bilbo's the perfect design for a life-saving dog. Bilbo's got webbed feet, and if I spread his toes out, you can see where his webs are coming right down, right down to his end of his feet. He's got a massive paddle that he can pull with. This tail is so wide and heavy that he can use it like a rudder. He can put all his effort into the paddling and just uses his tail to steer him right or left. To aid him with his swimming, he's got this fantastic waterproof coat. And if you look under here now, you can see that although he's been in the water, all the under hair here is completely dry. So in effect, he's actually got his own wetsuit. <laughs> 